Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Design Centric Sim City. My name is Rick Dilster, and uh, this is the town of Tupelo Towers where we were working last. And uh, let me show you what's uh, what's really been happening because I left the, the game running for for a few hours. Well, not really hours, you know, game hours. And uh, as you can see here, we have a, let me go full speed so you can actually see what's really happening. We have a bunch of like massive factories popping up. Let's look at the available jobs. We have a, quite a bit of available jobs. Uh, and not so many people to fill them, I guess. So uh, hopefully that uh, will resolve itself. But uh, if you look at the hourly money loss uh, number, it's actually going down quite a bit, like significantly by the hour. So hopefully in a in a few you know game cycles of you know day game cycles uh, that. Uh, that won't be the case anymore. We won't be losing money. You see, eight thousand. Now we're losing seventy six hundred, which uh, it's it's pretty good. So this town is pretty much done, at least for now. I might come back later and do some, you know, polishing and some like maybe I change my mind about something and I will fix it. So you know, you know how you know how it is. You know how I do things. So, uh, but that's not important. What's important is what's going to happen next because we're going to start a new city. And uh, that's always uh, that's always the best part. So in this case, like I said in the previous episode, uh, the game doesn't really allow me to. Oh, there we go. Double click. Forgot about that. Um, we're gonna claim the city of Bastrop Ridge. Actually, let's take a look at this one first, because this one has oil and ore. By the way, these are uh, the last uh, three cities. Actually, no, two cities. There's the last two cities, and we're gonna be done with this region. And um, we have an option here. I think I wanna I wanna take uh, Vastra Bridge just because it's closer to the other cities and uh, it will have a better interaction. And uh, hopefully this season, at the very end, we can start thinking about the Great Works. And uh, it's interesting that we cannot. Uh, well, we don't have the money to build this, and we can. I mean, I really wish we could have done the Space Center in the in season one of Design Centric Sim City. We can give it a shot again, but I think it might be a bit too. I completely forgot about Great Works, to be honest. Uh, maybe at the end of this episode, we'll we'll take care uh, of this a little bit. Maybe start something. But uh, in the meantime, let's jump into Bastrop Bridge, which is the city that I want to develop next. And uh, basically, like I said in the previous episode, uh, we're going to be doing some coal. In the meantime, let me claim it. We're going to be doing some coal and some ore. And it's mostly going to be a vanilla city. I'm not planning of adding mega towers or things like that. And at the same time, uh, one thing that I want to do is I want to talk you to talk to you about the road layout a little bit because usually I'm like very you know 90 degrees kind of person and 45 degrees like really perfect stuff I was thinking yeah maybe just for this one to do a bit something a bit more organic more you know eyeballing things and uh, just you know to break the patterns a little bit to see how, how, how it turns out um I'm pretty confident something cool can come out out of that. So um, let me get started by giving myself a ton of money because that's just how I roll. So I think, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go to 10 million like I did on the previous city, but uh, maybe something like that. 7 million, 7.2 million, that's not too bad. And uh, okay, first of all, by the way, this is like the most exciting part of every city. It's just like the first you know, little pieces uh, uh, of road and, you know, things. At least that's the part that I like the most. So all of our ore is over there and our coal is here and there. All right, that's actually very easy because we have everything localized to this uh, whole area. So let, let me grab the circle tool. That's definitely not what I wanted. Oh, we have a rail connection here as well. Interesting. All right. All right. Let's uh, sketch this up a bit. What? Why is it doing that? I keep hitting the wrong keys. Keep hitting the wrong keys. That's not good. That is not good. So you want to do it from the middle. So I need to do this, I guess. All right. That's not how you draw a circle. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. So something like this and like this. Just trying to like locate the epicenters of ores so, uh, so that we can, yeah, something like that. 
So this is all ore and this is coal. And then we have another patch of coal, but I might not work on this one right away. So let's see, what can we do here that will have a bit of a, you know, a uniqueness factor to it. I'm not gonna find the middle point of this map because actually there's no point of that, of undoing that, especially since we have this massive hill in the middle. So I think I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna have an avenue that comes up into here and then an avenue that maybe branches out into there and they, they sort of connect here. Kind of in a, in a Y kind of pattern. So let me get started by getting a street road. I do wanna maximize, uh, if I can, uh, density. So I'm probably gonna get this as a measurement unit, something like that. And uh, let's just use the curve tool. Uh, maybe it can, it can do some weird turns. I mean, who knows? It can do something like that. I mean, we kind of did uh, wiggly roads in uh, New Britannia by the coast. I don't know if you remember that, but um, this, is, this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm happy with this so far. Uh, I'm probably gonna start freaking out in a little while once I start laying out the rest of the roads, but that's that's another that's a topic for another for another conversation, I would say. So don't don't mind me. And uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of you. And of you. Do we have some room here for for some nice curves? I think I want, I want to make this a bit smoother. Something like that. And uh, over here. Uh, we might have to go across. Let me actually look at, can I toggle this while I build? Yes, I can. All right. Because I'm gonna probably gonna have one factory here, another one here, and another one there. So I think it's important to this is actually kind of cool. Uh, this, hmm, hang on. This is a bit odd, the way it's doing it. Hang on, let me, I'm already changing my mind. Did you, did you notice that? How am I changing my mind? Just after five seconds of of me saying, hey, I want to try something like different and, and now I hate it. I don't want to do, I don't know if I want to do like really sharp curves. That's the thing. Oh, this tunnel is kind of dug under. You know what? Let me, let me fix this because it has to be, it has to be perfect as always. So maybe this curve just has to, not like that, of course, but I feel like I just need to go all the way into here so that I can Maybe something like this. This shape doesn't make that much sense. Like, why would you plan an avenue like that? That's that's the part I think that, that bothers me a little bit. But uh, let me toggle back the ore. And uh, and also at the same time, I don't want to have like a really... Oh my God, what is this? Let me get rid of some of these roads. That actually kind of works. Yeah, that's that's uh that's staying. I love it. Uh, I love it. We can go straight a little bit too. That's not uh, that that one hurt anyone. And then I I kind of want to go back like. Something like this. And, uh, and we can have a stretch of, uh, you know, straight road over there. Uh, it's just, I mean, this would be a good location for commercial, I guess. Well, actually, no, this is going to be all industrial anyways. But uh, I think, uh, I think it, uh, when you do designs like this, like very like organic and whatnot, it makes... Uh, uh, it makes more sense for a residential, but I think I'm going to curve this out just because, I don't know. And 
make this better if I can. Uh, just an FYI, uh, spoiler alert, there's going to be a lot of bulldozing on this episode. I, I can tell you that right now. So, yeah, just be prepared for that. I mean, maybe you can just go like this. But now I have this kind of weird stuff going on. Hmm. It's just a thing. I am not I'm not happy with this. I am not happy with this. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not happy with this. I think I, I like this part that is just kind of wiggly, but this is just like boring, like a boring curve. So you know what? Let's let's try this again. Maybe this part will stay. Actually, you know what? That's this this is actually problematic for what I'm trying to achieve. Just want those as, as markers, but uh, I think they're like limiting me a bit too much, and I don't appreciate that. So let's see if we can have something that maybe goes like that. Problem is that we're running out of room in here. This might actually work. There we go. Oh yeah, that totally. This totally works. This kinds of uh, curves, I think, uh, are are a good fit, and uh, I think I'm gonna keep them. So here, I some somewhere around here, I want to. I need to branch this out. Maybe we can go all the way into the corners. And this can connect right there at an angle. All right, now that now, now we're talking. I'm like I'm really digging the shapes like a lot, and uh, I kind of want to use this as a reference sort of. So maybe I will get some neighborhoods right here that sort of follow these guides. And uh, now the question is, I can do that with rail, and it will give me the perfect spacing for. Uh, you know, maximizing the density between the avenue and whatever road comes next. And uh, do I want another avenue somewhere? That's a good question. I think I might, because we have a lot of room here. L let me see. Let's. Let's. This is just gonna be. I, I, I'm not sure about this. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Clear that out. Also, I, I don't want to like overdo it with this like wiggly roads. This part doesn't work for some reason. Let's fix that and uh, connect this too. I might be a bit quiet sometimes at this episode, so just don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just focusing. To achieve perfection, even though I will never, I will never achieve such a thing, just because. <laughs> uh, maybe we can even, oh, can maybe connect this like that. Now this curve is kind of funky, so let's see if we can fix that somehow. We can maybe bring this up here, and. Uh, And uh, finally connect that. All right, that's that's looking good. It's looking very good. I'm liking it. So uh, right here, this could be where City Hall will be. Let's just plop it now. We never do this. Let's just plop City Hall right now. This is a perfect center for this. Let's get all the add-ons, of course. I always do this extensions like this. Let's just do a bit of a compact design this time, just to you know mix it up a little bit. We can even have the education uh, building right across the street. We can have the helipad at a corner. And it's, uh, it's looking nice. It's looking very nice. So um, let's start. I'm not going to start zoning or anything. Let me let me plop the factories first. Uh, not the factories, but the mines. Just to see where uh, how big they are. And because and, I kind of want to fit industrial. 
like dirty industrial around it and uh, it might, might work very well. So let's go into the uh, mining. No, this is uh, this is drilling. So mining, coal mine. Uh, I want to start with ore though. So, oh, this is like super small. All right. So I think this is the perfect spot for this. I haven't done uh, ores in a while, so you will excuse me if I don't remember some of these concepts. But uh, pretty much this is uh, how I remember it. So I can later move some of these. Uh, towers and just rearrange them maybe going into going towards this direction so that i can actually capture all the ores that are going to be happening right there so four of those can i put a sign yeah let's put a sign somewhere else maybe actually no right right in there it's fine wow that's really small compared to i thought i was going to take this entire space uh, i wasn't paying attention to the the uh scale but it looks like a way bigger map now hmm all right, so um, let's see. What do we want next? What do we want next? Uh, we want, I think, we want another one of those because it's too small. So let's go ahead and queue that up. Oh, I kind of messed this up because the thing is right in the middle of the. Okay, let's 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 fix this because this this is not this is not good. Hmm, how can we? fix this this road kind of I mean if we didn't have this we can basically just curve this up to here and it should be okay let's give that a shot real quick something like that and now we have uh, potentially we have uh, a lot of room for the next uh, complex right here and uh, if I'm not mistaken I can extend this like that and like that and uh, like that and that actually uh, this might not capture as much as the other one let me grab the ore shaft again come on hurry up hurry up this one 237.8 169 120 120 yeah this is obviously the best spot let's put a sign up up front and get all the garages oh i added an extra one. Oh, because yeah of the mod it's fine it's fine just don't tell anyone and it's gonna be fine don't tell anyone oh we have the advanced coal mine oh we need to do all these oh we totally need to do all these buildings so is this this this, this town is gonna be a long episode uh, actually, I'm sorry. It's gonna be a long series of episodes because just I want to try it all, and because um, I haven't done that in a while. In fact, can we put this right now? Kind of want to put it, put it there. Oh, it's already fully upgraded. Uh, maybe this is not the right spot because I want I want to keep some sort of like town area going. So let let me. Oh no, I wanted. Okay, just take a deep breath, man. Relax, relax. Oh, I also kill this. I suck at this. Okay. This will have to go and we will have to start again. There we go. And uh, yeah, what I was saying is I want to I want to develop sort of uh, an urban area around here. So that building will hopefully be somewhere here as well. And uh, otherwise here in the middle of like all these factories, it's just not going to make that much sense. In fact, uh, I might actually do a lot of uh, residential here and commercial just so they they go work at this town where there's going to be a lot of uh, jobs potentially so we'll, we'll see we'll see but uh let me do let me place one uh, coal mine and uh, i think i'm gonna call it a par there because it's been i've been talking for quite a bit so far so let me see this extends to the side i don't remember yes Okay. Oh, we have the. Is this Cities of Tomorrow? Advanced, augmented. Hmm. High tech. Coal shaft. Yeah, I want. I want this one. I want the fastest one. Of course, I want to go fast. I want to go super fast. 
How many, how many of these can I put? Eight. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so I get uh, 215 from here and I get 35? That makes some sense. 93, 150, 209, 230. All right, well, let's just do it there, I guess. And uh, deliver trucks. And the sign. Coal. Actually, I can do one more. Hang on. There we go. Wow, this is pretty scary factory, to be honest, or mine. Uh, let's uh, let's also queue up. Uh, I mean, we can we can start mining this as well. Should not be a problem. Or we can have a mine over here too. Yeah, let's do this one here. Oh, you have the, oh, okay, okay, okay. Why did I not see this? Wait. Oh, this is coal. The fail. Uh -huh. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Ore mine and coal mine. Yes, now this is the one we want. Uh, oh, ho, 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 I can't expand it here. Oh, thank you for letting me know that beforehand, before I just pull up the massive factory and spend a lot of money. Thank you very much. I guess it's my fault for not actually checking the expansion, but it actually looks like it, it will expand over there. Why is it not letting me? Oh, now it is. Okay. I guess I, guess I didn't see that right. Is it four? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're gonna get one, two, three, four. Just for symmetry. There we go. Sign. We're gonna have a lot of these. And it's gonna be great. Uh, let's add one more. And then I'm gonna call it a part of there. And I think I wanna put it here. And uh, you're gonna be extended this way. And this way mostly. Something like that. Get all the garages sign are there and uh, all right this uh, oh man the money that we're gonna be making out of this is just gonna be ridiculous don't freak out this is not looking nice this is I haven't forgot this is design centric some city we're gonna be we're gonna be making this nice in fact you know what let's just make it nice right now uh, this is just gonna change everything I promise you that we're gonna put some cacti here and there so it doesn't look that empty and boring just uh, surround uh, some of these areas with cacti, just here and there, you know, a little bit. Doesn't hurt anyone, just surround some of these factories and some of the roads, the entrances, basically all the places where we built and then, and, and, let me go full speed so the trees grow, there we go. And pause it, just like that. And uh, it's looking much better, yes. I, I, I know that you're nodding with your head and it, it, it does indeed look much better. But uh, we're going to continue this in the next episode. We're going to make it even better. And um, I have uh, have high hopes for this town in terms of uh, design and layout. Because I uh, I very rarely do this kind of designs. Like very organic and not following the grid at all. So we'll see how it turns out. I mean, right now it's just a bunch of roads uh, on the desert and a bunch of cacti. So just, you know, to kill it, see. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to look better later. So, um, but uh, I mean, you, you might enjoy this uh, so far. So if, if that's the case, please give it a rating. That's very much appreciated. And also, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Rick Doster. This has been Design Centric SimCity. And I want to thank you for watching. I hope you, I hope to see you next time. Take care.